Hello everybody, this is Graham Anderson, and today I'm going to be looking at a game called Movie Mind. Now this is a party game that revolves around movie trivia, but not exactly a trivia game. Each round of team is going to be asked to identify movies based on a large card with multiple movie scenes or movie clues drawn on them. Now I used to watch a lot more movies than I do now, so I was a bit leery that they're going to be asking me minute details about some modern movies that I hadn't seen. But luckily it isn't that. This is a mix of time frames for the different movies. Now, there really isn't much else to this game beyond just asking questions and looking at the pictures. So, will this game be a blockbuster, or will it just close after the first playthrough? Now, before we get to the table, I do want to say I will be showing one of the uh, cards and asking some questions from one of the, the uh, question cards in this. So, if you don't know anything about the movie, you can skip to the end. But even in the end, I'm going to be showing off one of the cards, so just be forewarned about that. But with that, let's get it to the table, see how it's played, and I'll come back with my final thoughts on Movie Mind. So this is Movie Mind set up for three different teams. I'll be showing off the very first card of the deck and asking questions related to it, so if you don't want to see anything, feel free to skip to the final thoughts section in the description of this video. Each team is given a token of their color, and this is going to be important when they are asked questions. The large stack of cards is placed face down in the middle of the table, and the question stack is placed beside it. On a team's turn, a player from another team will take the question cards and flip to the one that matches the top face down movie card. They'll be asking the colored questions from the question card that matches the team color that we'll be guessing. Each question card is split into the three different colors matching the team tokens. So in this setup, a player from the blue team will ask the red team questions from the red section of the question card. There are five questions in each color, plus a bonus for each color. When the active team is ready, they flip over the movie card, and the 60 second timer and the question person will start to ask questions. The movie card has 10 different movies referenced in the drawing somewhere. The active team can only give one answer per question. Of course, they can skip the question and come back to it later. At the end of 60 seconds, or after they have answered the five questions, they will receive one point per right answer. Then the question person will place down the action token, and the bonus question is going to be for all the players from all the teams, except for the current question person. But their team members can also guess the answer. The question person will then ask the bonus question, and the first person to hit the action token and give the right answer will get their team a point. It then goes on to the next team to guess. So, let's see how you would do. For this card on the table, I'll ask you the five yellow questions, and then the bonus. So, a movie in which the main character is a famous composer. A movie in which the castle staff is not in human form. A movie about a queen. An animated movie that begins in Russia. A movie in which the hero participates in a tournament. And the bonus question is, in what movie do the protagonist search for a chest containing a heart? So, how well did you do? Let me know in the comments below. So the game continues until each team has answered three sets of questions. Then the team with the most stars is the winner. Now let's get back to see what I thought about Movie Mind. So, theme and components. I'm going to skip right over the theme. It's a movie party trivia game. So let's talk about the components. The question cards were an interesting choice, but I do like that they're all kind of stuck together. Now the one thing I didn't show is at the back of some of these will, are going to show you the, the movie cards with all the movies highlighted on them, because it is another mode you can play. The other components are functional, but really the highlight for me are the movie cards. And I am going to show you one from the game. It's the same one from the overview. You know what? I just love these. They're so well done. And what helps or hinders, depending for this game, is that the movies are not obvious. You just don't get like a list of movies to pick from. What's drawn here are kind of clues to the movies that are on here. And that kind of flows nicely into the gameplay. You have to know movies to play this game. More than that, you have to have seen them as well or maybe know of them. I really enjoy that, but I feel this game kind of is then a niche game. And my group just so happens to be that most of us are in that niche group. The questions themselves are also vague. If you know the movie, you'll get the question clue. And sometimes players will go strictly by the question and not really need this card at all. This is one of those games that, within my group at least, you start playing and the official rules go right out the window. We just had fun playing. We got rid of that one guess rule. If someone in the group said an incorrect answer, we just moved on. We would then go back after the five were asked and re-ask the questions that they got wrong or skipped until the timer was complete. Again, that's how we enjoyed the game, but it's going to be up to you and your group to decide how you want to play it, how closely to the rules you want to follow. Now, there are modes in this game for two players or more advanced where you have to kind of point to the reference on the card and say the correct title. And again, your group can decide, uh, to decide how accurate you have to be. Can you just say Star Wars? Or do you have to say Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back? So, would I recommend it? I definitely would. 
If you know a group of people who enjoy watching movies or know a lot about movies, this is a definite recommend. I actually love the art in this one. If I could find the perfect one of these cards with my 10 favorite movies on it, it would be something I would want to hang on the wall. I like that the rules are flexible enough that our group could play how we wanted and still had an absolute great time with it. I like that most of the movies are well known. I haven't come across a movie yet in here where I had never even heard of the movie. Maybe I hadn't seen it, but at least I had heard of it. I like the idea of the bonus question. It gets all the teams involved looking at the card doing, uh, during the round, you know, trying to figure out the movies. I also like that both the picture and the questions were not straightforward. There was always some interpretation that needed to be done. But that can also be one of the biggest negatives. My group seemed to be the right age range for this as the movies on these cards, and between us we had seen most of the movies. I can't see this well working in a family setting, maybe with younger kids, or maybe even with teenagers. And again, this is also a trivia game where you either know it or you don't. On some questions, you just don't know. And even after you know the answer, you don't know the movie well enough to pick it out from the drawing. This can definitely lead to frustration. But I felt with the larger teams, someone at least had a reasonably good guess, and the rounds were quick enough that you weren't sitting there for five minutes trying to find the answer on these cards. And there's also only 80 cards, but each one does have three sets of questions, so I felt that that was an adequate amount. Of course, I'd want more of them. Overall, though, I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 and the Dice Tower seal of approval. This game is not going to be for everyone just due to the nature of needing that movie knowledge. But for the right groups, this could be a lot of fun. For my group, the first time we played, we just played and played. Eventually, someone asked, when do we know who's won? And we discovered that we had passed that point 15 minutes ago, but still wanted to continue. To me, that's the mark of a good party game. And that's it for the moment. Until next time, thanks for watching.